so we've just left the hotel in uh, Vienna we've got uh, 260 mile route non motorway if I remember correctly um, I don't there might be a little bit of motorway and uh, it's uh, before nine o'clock first time we've got out early I think it's 20 degrees C sunny looks like it's gonna be a warm day so we're just heading directly west as you'll probably see from the map that no doubt I've put up on the screen so last night uh, a lot of them went to uh, there was a contingent of about half of the team who went for an early meal and then uh, music at uh, orchestral music in the central Vienna others did their own thing last night I went to with three others and we had a uh, we went to a spice restaurant which was like a sort of fusion-y Chinese Thai type of place very nice indeed we've got 247 miles to go we've only just sort of leaving the outskirts of Vienna we're going to join the B44 up here in a mile as far as I remember rightly it's mostly if not all non-motorway wiggly roads so it's more or less the route you would take if you just put in from A to B non-motorway this route does seem to be town to town and uh, Michael's Ducati doesn't like riding in second all the time and getting hot so we might abandon this and jump on the motorway for a bit when we get back nearer to it because this is not as flowing as I expected it to be just too many towns those towns and villages were just too much Salzburg Linz A1 so we'll do a few kilometres up here and see if we can get back on and see if it's any better fuel the coffee stop here's Matthew here's Mick we've decided we're going to go more or less direct now on the uh, motorway just time and looking my other route in a bit more detail it's just village after village after village after village so let's hope to, tomorrow's route is better let's do it B137 so we're going to try this for a while because we've got 118 miles to go we've got plenty of time it's just come out to one o'clock and we've got an arrival time of 3.30 so plenty of time to play with so we thought we'd give this one a go and have some wigglies possibly 97 miles to go I think it's a food stop up here actually this is a good road, although we did have to, uh, we came up behind a policeman rather rapidly. I thought it was one of ours and I was trying to catch him up to see uh, if it was a number plate I recognised. Then I noticed the blue light, so we backed off a bit. He's peeled off back there and I did wonder whether he was just peeling off in order to come back behind us and just check us out, but it didn't seem to have done so far, but we've made a few road takes since then, so catch up with you in a while. Right, a little bit of a lunch stop here, wherever we are. We're on the B388. Little roll, there's no restaurants at all. I was looking for a restaurant for miles. Cave up and uh, most of these petrol stops have got um, cafes. We'll step out in front of one of those. <coughs> Still on the B388, which they're digging up. On these more open German roads, I've been able to exploit the overtaking potential of this. Fourth and fifth, it does pull. Good for quick overtakes, this. It's that instant rush. B388. 
kilometers, 54 miles to our destination in freezing Germany. You see that flag coming up on the Garmin? Well, that's one that I've actually put on there, so that's why I stick to putting loads of keeping and waypoints, because then I can see that I'm definitely on the right route, because there's one of the flags that I put there. It's only reason it's on the screen if you can see it. Welcome back. This is the 23, the B2350, which goes direct to freezing, and that's uh, eight miles along here. I can more or less see the Czech flag on the sat nav in front of me. One and a half miles to our destination in Friesing. Well, here is the town or village of Friesing. New one on me, haven't been here before. I think there's underground car parking at this hotel. That's what uh, I must have put something, I must have researched it because a little flag came up on my screen with a bit of text. I think it's seven euros per night. Anyway, we'll find out when we get there. Dine here, I believe, somewhere. Now, we may not be allowed to go through here, I'm not sure. may be the wrong way in but hey I didn't see any signs saying you can't but there isn't much traffic I have to admit oh there's traffic there that's okay recognize it from the Google Street view, it's up here on the right hand side, I think. Straw beer? Underground car park? Can we trust you with this? No. Or you can park in the road. Okay. First floor. Yeah. How do we know that we're going to the first floor? Evidential. <laughs> Thank Thanks for your help. <laughs> You'll pull the plonker. Right, catch up with you in a minute. And here we are, hotel in freezing. So I'll just give you a quick whiz round. As usual, hanging space, safe, that sort of thing in there. Twin room, hanging places, etc. Two windows overlooking the car park at the back. You probably saw this on the video. And there's the lift over there for the underground car park. And then in here, nice modern bathroom, all the usual fittings, much the same as the last one really. Uh, but very pleasant, very nice. Catch up with you later or in the morning on the way to Homburg.
and David's joined us from the hotel. We're uh, on the 217 mile marker, so we've had a good old ride down. Who's this coming in now? So it's David, it's Michael. Have you lost him? I lost him. Well, who's going to care for him now? I went another way. Oh no. He's been phoning me up. I went back to the hotel. He says, I'm on a roundabout. <laughs> right. That narrows it down. So, so I went back to the hotel again after about four miles. <laughs> He's not there. I go round and round. Can't find He keeps on phoning me up. I says, I can't hear you now. <laughs> Have a coffee. Oh, no. We'll see you later. Right, let's go. Yeah, so we. I didn't do any filming directly up by Ooh, Hotel. Yeah, so we've got 216 miles here. It's 19 and a half degrees C. It's uh, 10 past 11, which is a coffee fuel stop. Well, riding on here anyway, it just maybe it's the roads, but uh, it certainly feels as though the engine is a lot smoother now than it was before. Bit of heavy traffic here on the A8. We've still got about another 20 miles down here before I think we can turn off. And we're at the 172 miles to go point. 16 and a half degrees, it's got a little chillier actually. Bit of a road blockage on the other side, a lorry was being picked up by a trailer, so it's caused a tiny little bit of a blockage on the other carriageway. Still on the A8, but there's the dual carriageway section, and it's heavy traffic. I think there's a lane closure ahead somewhere, so I've been reported by live traffic. But we've got a bit of greenery to look at, so it's a little more interesting here. Spot of lunch, and uh, we met up with some of the other crews. Oh, there's two more of ours. Chris and Roger just gone past. This is fun. I've had a couple of miles of this so far. There's some very aware drivers who are happy to let us through, and there's some who are not. Like this one here, totally unaware of people behind, or not willing to let us through, not sure. More traffic jams, that's quite a structure they're building there isn't it? Bit of a tunnel building exercise here, by the looks of it. So with 70 miles to go, we come off the uh, motorway network, so at last we get some uh, local roads to ride. I begin to fall asleep on the motorway to be honest, I was looking for a coffee stop. But this is better. Alright, catch up with you a little bit down the line. Well we've stopped in this stopped in this town but um, that restaurant over there is actually closed so maybe it's a supermarket and a cold drink I think because the temperature was about 23 and a half. Wow. It's, uh, risen a lot. Anyway, catch up in a minute. So we're on 55 miles to go. Uh, it's getting quite warm. It's 26 and a half degrees. We've just stopped for a refreshment. All we could find is a superstore. So bottles of water, packet of ice creams, and we're on our way again. Looking for petrol next. Filled up with petrol and back on track to pick up our route over in Lembach, hopefully. Well, we're heading towards it, so my sat nav says. At last, get off those motorways. Just a couple of minutes further up from where I uh, handed off, actually. This is a, a bit of a biker's road by the signposts. A few hairpins, uphill hairpins there.
nice. And we're back into Germany, bit of a seam. 22 degrees. These are lovely uh, rural side roads we've got. 41 miles to destination. I'll put the road number up on the screen. I think it's the L488. Here's the town which is going to S-C-H-O-N-A-U. Right, catch up in a minute. Another cracking bit of road, we're on the L478, I believe it is. You'd like to see a bit of this? Lovely little road. Don't know why I haven't found this one before. It's like a small version of the Beat 500. Just joined the A8, we're 16 miles out, so I guess this is going to do us for a fair while. We've just entered the city limits, or town limits, of Homburg, which is our destination. To follow this route in the future, it's motorway, 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 and then the last 100 miles, 90 miles, 80 miles, windy stuff. Good fun, good fun. So it's all at the end of the day, really. Then there's a tiny little bit of uh, auto route. We just did about 10k or thereabouts to get down to near here. Coming in here, it's going to be a after five o'clock approach, so it's a long day. Oh, it's done mileage anyway, so it's uh, it's it's enough, I think. I'm glad we didn't go down to the Black Forest, add the Black Forest loop in as well. Oh, is it Schlossburg Hotel? Is it? signposted there. So we've gone through the sort of town centre and it's a mile up here to the Schlossberg Hotel. Carlsberg Brewery! Oh my god! Should be just ahead, so I can see the uh, finish line on the screen. 5.15. Oh, an old fort here. Right, let's find out where we can park.
So we've arrived at the Hotel Schlossberg and a uh, lovely room. Looks like a nice place, just up the road, in fact, from the Carlsberg Brewery. So anyway, let me just give you a quick look around. There's plenty of uh, hanging space here. A few steps up in this particular room. Twin beds here and uh, office area, coffee making machine. And in here, all the usual equipment, shower and basin and loo. So there we go. It's a bit dark down in the reception, but uh, that's the view out of the window. Not much from here, I'm afraid, but there's a great view over the town of Homburg, just over there. Right, we'll catch up with you a bit later on. Cheers. Day 14, and we're lose, leaving the Schlossberg Hotel, Homburg, for, wait for my pronunciation, Wavre, Wavre, W-A-V-R-E, now we're going through the uh, forested areas, if I've planned it right, that green bit north of uh, Luxembourg, as we head uh, northwest. You saw this bit on the way up, so I won't film all of this. We'll catch up with you somewhere on the road. We've got about 197 miles to do. I underestimated the initial length of this trip because we're on 201 now, 197 overall, it's about 227. So we're on the B41. We're heading uh, to the east of my route because the route was barred, closed, we couldn't find any way around it. We ended up going up a dirt track, which was clearly wrong. So we backtracked, headed east, and we're going to jump on the, or my plan is to jump on the, I think it's the A41 motorway, whichever the big one is, and uh, then head north a little bit, and then try and move get back onto my route. See how that turns out, shall we? Back on track now, so that's the main thing. This is the B407. It's a bit of a cracker, actually. And uh, right onto the B51. Just going to go three and a half miles down here and then turn onto the L136. We were coming through a town and uh, there's a whole row of cars in front of me and obviously the bikes behind me. A queue of cars waiting at a right hand junction. And this woman <laughs> could have been a man obviously, but it was a woman actually waited until the cars are gone and uh, then decided she couldn't see a quarter ton motorcycle and the other ones following it with all their lights blazing and was going to pull right across in front of me. What's going on there? Drunk? Eyesight? 
just be aware always cautious he says touching wood so we just had a nice lunch here at the cafe de la place in i'll put the town up on the uh, screen because i can't remember welcome back we're on the n15 now lovely sweepers on this one unfortunately there's a few bits of traffic so sorry about that that's over the lines i know i know i know So this is the N834, just the other side of Savvy Bastille. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I thought it was going to lead into a nice bit of road there, sorry. Come back later. Open views here. Hope you can hear me over this. There's what a lot of wind noise on here. Quite sure where that was going then. film that a little bit because we were at this petrol station here for Mick. He turned in but he went to the wrong pump and he filled it with um, not diesel but it's home oil <laughs> from a pump so we've just had to manually pump it out and hope it's okay. He hadn't started it so could have been nasty. This is only the cashier who said, Are you sure you want that? Anyway, so we're now on the N. You can't read it actually, it's bumbling around all over the place. Was it the N? Looks like the triple eight, but could be wrong. I'll put it up on the screen. See you in a while. Welcome back. We're on the N4. We've got about 20 miles of this uh, towards Namur on the side post there. We've only got 54 miles left to do, so I'll catch up with you at the other end of this N4, I think, is the best thing. This is Namur. It's 24 degrees and blooming hot. Chase the layout here, and I've made right to uh, Pig's Ear trying to find our way through here. There's a large roundabout that's been changed. Anyway, that's my excuse. Seems to work most times. And here we are in Wabra, Wabra, however it is. We're just over a mile from the hotel. Bit of a funny approach because it's in a sort of industrialist that area or something. I can see it on the map, but I think we're going to go past it and then come back or something. Sitting out there having a beer in the sun. We got here early. It's 4.46. Yes, it's a bit of a funny old business park in here, isn't it?
It's 8.30 in uh, Wavre, Belgium, and we've just left the hotel, the Best Western. Matt, uh, Mick and myself are heading for the train at uh, the Eurotunnel. <sighs> Sorry. If I sound a bit um, blocked up, or more blocked up than usual, hay fever kicks in terribly there. So we're going a uh, direct route to the tunnel. So I just thought I'd do a quick uh, wrap up. Because uh, it's the end of the trip, I'm going home. And uh, probably don't want to see the footage from the way back to the tunnel really. Because it's all going to be two and a half hours of the motorway. Great fun. Then I've got a three hour trip up to Northamptonshire. So it's going to be a longish day. Bike's been good. I've done about two and a half thousand miles. Um, I think I've really done three thousand miles actually. I've got it on KPH at the moment, so I can't tell you exactly. I'll give you a roundup figure in the video. Um, overall, oh. air on this is fantastic on motorways hardly any good blast at all. <coughs> it still sounds like a bag of spanners, but if you've got your earplugs in it, you don't really hear it. The grunt is really good. Roma takes it in third, fourth, fifth. Fabulous. Comfortable. Seat's pretty comfortable. I think it's probably more comfortable than the last one. Let's wrap this up now. Oh, I feel terrible. So anyway, good, good to see everybody. 32 people on that trip. Uh, I'll try and put as much into the video as I can, although as you know I've had some problems with the laptop backing up, so I've been having to upload to the cloud and uh, sometimes it's worked, sometimes it hasn't, so we'll see what we've got left to uh, put together. I'll catch up with you next time, thanks for watching and uh, keep watching for more videos in the near future. All the best, cheers out.